3137 Bay Lane, Waypoint Home. We're in the backyard. I'm at a three inch clean out. There's actually two of them. The bathroom for the garage over on the far right of the house exits the house on its own. This is a septic house. There's the raised septic tank. Upon arrival, the water was off. We've had to glue a little bit of CPVC out in the yard. So we haven't been able to fire the water up yet to check the drainage. I'm gonna go up into the house from this clean out first. Run of PVC. There's your roof vent. PVC looks real good. Obviously, after we turn water on, we'll make sure that the fixtures come out of this. Pass this clean out. I'm going to pull back, go towards the septic from this clean out. Now from this clean up, little bit of standing water, obviously septic houses are notorious for having to lay it real flat to make fall to the shallow inlets of the septic. Looks like a 45 degree churn and heading the septic looks to be about 20 feet out. And somewhere there's going to have to be a Y, I imagine, catching the garage bath. And that could be it right there. As you can see, we're getting a little flat. There is standing water which could be multiple things could be the leach the tank needs pumped or hopefully the leach feels not bad but we have not entered the septic yet so there should not be water like that prior to entering the septic hard to tell exactly when you enter the septic that could be it right there we're gonna move to the other side now that side's got a further run to make the septic so I'm sure that's gonna be a real flat run hopefully it flows fine after we fire water up we'll be able to run all the fixtures and see if they make it to the tank